Dooku. This is just the beginning. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this video because this video everybody has been asking for recently. It is the brand new Xenopixel 3 Count Dooku lightsaber. What's up everybody, welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John. So I wanna thank Vader Sabers for sending us over this brand new Xenopixel 3 Count Dooku lightsaber. Now the Xenopixel 3 is brand new, it just got released. I've actually had this for weeks now. So I wound up getting the app just a few weeks ago and I made a full video walking you through the whole app. So you can see the settings and what's available and everything, which I will attach at the end of this. Um, it is super awesome to have an app to run your lightsaber. Simply because walking through the Xenopixels could be a little tricky with getting to the different blade styles and getting to the different sound fonts. Everything is based on how long you hit the button for and uh, different timings of it. So like one second will be the volume, two seconds will be blade styles, and five seconds is sound font, stuff like that. It just takes forever to get through them and sometimes it gets so frustrating. Um, and having an app with everything separated that you can just zip through is like a godsend. So it's really awesome to have this app. All right, let's break this thing out and see what we have here. We obviously have this nice shell case. And inside we've got this beautiful Count Dooku Xenopixel 3 lightsaber. Now, I actually got a lot of questions if the Xenopixel 3 would only be in this. The answer is no. Xenopixel is just the technology inside the board and the Xeno 3 is just the new version that they're pumping out. Now, let's take a look at this really quick. This thing is so nice. Oh, you know what I want to show you? Because everybody likes these comparisons. Hold on. All right, so um, I really like the Count Dooku lightsaber and what, about a year ago, I picked up this first one at, this is the Disney version of the lightsaber. Now, let me move this box really quick. Look at the difference here. This here is the Disney version, and this one is the most screen accurate replica. Um, first off, holy moly in size difference. Do you see this? This has gotta be, I don't know, three, maybe four inches smaller in length. Uh, probably half the thickness. It's just, I don't know what Disney's thinking, but if you want something that's actually manageable and actually looks the right size in your hand, this is the way to go. If you want just a, you know, a little prop for your shelf and everything that looks okay from, you know, 10, 15 feet away, this, it's not bad, but I mean, look at this. This thing is the size of a, a Chipotle burrito. And now I want a burrito. See, like one of the biggest problems with uh, bringing a Disney lightsaber into any review and saying it looks like a burrito is that I instantly get hungry and I need to go get a burrito. Here we go, Chipotle and Disney. Well, that's why people call these things burritos because they're almost as thick as a Chipotle burrito. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, I know you don't want to sit here and watch me eat Chipotle, so I'm gonna send you back to the bio. Let's get back over there. All right, let's see what else we've got here in the box. Manual, this will walk you through all of these settings here. Um, because you can manually change everything on the Sabre itself, which is a pain in the butt. Now the manual does not mention anything about Bluetooth for whatever reason, but it does have Bluetooth in it and I will put the link down below and I will show you the app in this video to show you that it actually does work. Uh, again, I made a full video walkthrough, which I'll link you at the end of the video and down in the description so you can really check that out. Let's see, we also have a nice acrylic stand 
some extra Allen wrenches and some extra screws, the famous green Allen wrench. Then we have the USB-C charging cable, a pixel blade plug, and then we have the pixel blade for all the sound loving people out there. <laughs> all right, so let me walk you through a couple of things here. Now, this does have uh, one flaw, and it's basically because of the design. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but the design actually dampers the twisting feature. In here, you do have access to your battery. Now, this is such a great feature. There is a kill switch, so when you turn off your saber, you could flip this off and really preserve the battery for quite some time. That is such a great, great feature to have. On the back here, this is the new Xeno 3 board. You got your SD card here. Now to access your SD card, push up and flip that out and you can access your SD card. Um, that way you can put on some custom sound fonts and everything. So now what you'll notice here is that uh, because of the design, everything's kind of crooked, right? So the gesture controls are a little tricky to activate because of the design. Now, I want to show you that you can flip it upside down and flip through and turn it on so simple. So there's actually nothing wrong with it. Turn it off. So when you're hooked up in here and the blade is on there, it becomes quite difficult to activate. Uh, your gesture controls. So down here in the pommel, we have to take off this screw to access your charging port. Uh, you know, it's a little uh, flathead screw, so uh, usually your nail will open it up, but if you have a flathead screwdriver around, feel free to use that. Um, you're just gonna pop that off. Now, a cool thing, I'm wondering if I could actually upgrade this because it's just a little speaker capsule, <laughs> which is really awesome, right? So I'm guessing that you could upgrade the speaker at some point, and then right there on the speaker capsule, you have the USB-C to pop right in. So that's a great design, I love that. I love that there's a speaker capsule, because I'm, I'm guessing I could upgrade the speaker at some point. And also, if for some reason your speaker blows out in the future, I mean, that's just like, that's just a plug and play kind of contraption right there. So just like the Xenopixels that we've looked at in the past, we do have a single button configuration here. If we had a two button configuration, man, this would be so easy to use. Um, but given the fact that we have an app now, makes it a lot easier. But let me show you just a couple of the basic things here with the single button here. We have the one second hold for volume. Volume low. Mute. Volume high. So we have the three volume settings. Now on the app, you can just endlessly change the volume. So if you want every increment in the middle, you can do that. You can't do that on the actual Sabre itself. You only have the three high, low, and mute. You have a lot more flexibility with the app. So to change the font, you have to hold the button for about five, four or five seconds, give or take. So one, two, three, four, five. The dark sword. One, two, three, four, five. New horizon. Now we have all the same typical blade styles and ignitions and everything, and that's just uh, a hold of two seconds. One, two. Steady. So this is steady. Now I'm just gonna show you these kind of quick. By the way, this speaker is so loud. <laughs> uh, then we have uh, ignitions, which I think are like two or three. One, two, three. Broken ignition. So here's a different ignition. Now, what we're gonna do is move over to the app now because this isn't configured right for this blade. All right, you can see it's dark over here. Now this is where the app really shines and really digging into what a Xeno 3 is. So I'm just gonna blaze through this app really quick just to show you a couple adjustments on here that you can't find in the actual Xeno 3 Saber itself. It only seems to be here. So first thing, is the volume adjustment. So we're able to adjust everything seamlessly through the app, unlike on the Sabre. The Sabre had basically two volumes and a mute, right? It had high, low, and off, right? Here we've got 100% and we can just work our way down 98, 97, 95, 80, 70. At 100%, I feel like this speaker is really distorting. So I like to keep it around 50, maybe even less. Level. 
Now you can also adjust which sound font you want, just like this. So like I showed you on the Sabre itself, you gotta hold the button for five seconds to bounce from font to font. And if you wanted to go back, you can't really you know, twist the Sabre because of the off axis of the handle. So with the app, you just click on font select and you just scroll through. The Horizon, the Dark Sword, the Assassin, the Knight, Wanderer. How, how easy is that? So like no more wasting times or holding everything for this, five counts for this, two counts for that. You can adjust everything on here. So this is incredible. Changing the colors are super, super simple. So let's flip this on. Let me lower the volume a little bit because I really don't need to hear all that buzzing. Now I want you to be able to see the colors a little bit better. So I'm actually gonna just dim that down a little bit. We can actually change the brightness of the blade. Isn't that incredible? Make that really low, really high. Let's put it like about 50% right now, just so you can see a little bit more of the colors and stuff happening here. Now, uh, the one thing that we had to do, if you remember, we've got to fix the blade length because we're not going all the way to the tip there. So we have blade length right there and we just want to adjust. There we go. Now we have a full color palette here that you could just kind of tap around wherever you want and the color just changes so easy. Um, you also have the dials down here, which you can dial in a specific color. Let's go to straight red. All right, let's go to straight green, everything down to zero, green up to 100. Or not 100, 255. Blue up to 255, green all the way down. Now we got some Jedi Dooku happening here. Now let's go back to infinite color. This is basically just gonna scroll through all the colors and just fade softly between each one. And when you come to something that you like, you just hit the button, let's go into green, all right? And then you have quick color select, which is just gonna bang all certain colors right out. So like reds, greens, blues, and a couple variations between that we can kind of bang through the colors really quick. So if you're in here, uh, you could also just play around with uh, lockup effects here, um, blaster, light effects, force effects, tip drag, which you can see there. All right, so the one thing I'm not gonna do is sit here and walk you through this whole app and all of the settings because there is a whole other video for it. Link is in the description and I'll put it at the end. So let's kind of dig into the lightsaber itself. Now the awesome thing about the new Xeno 3 is the addition of the accent swing. So we have the beautiful, beautiful smooth swings as always, right? And then you hear those extra swing accents now. So let's check out a couple of the sound fonts along with this. So I'm gonna use my app over here. So I'll keep the app over here. Nice. Beautiful, smooth swing. And hear those extra accent swings in there? Gotta turn the flash sensitivity down. Yeah, you can even, by the way, see this? You can even adjust the sensitivity to that. <laughs> it's so cool. So if you're swinging around, you know, see like it's uh, activating too many of those swings, those flashes. I just want to turn that down so you can hear the accent swings and not the flashes. The Dark Sword. The Dark Sword is just such an awesome sound. Love it. Oh, those, those accent swings, having those accent swings.
It adds so much more character to the sound fonts. Wow. Oh, bop myself in the head. <laughs> so nice. You hear that? That sounds amazing. Those are all the sounds I used to make in my head. Love it. All right, so I'm just gonna make myself just a quick Count Dooku blade style, which is just gonna be a red blade with a small pulse on it. And uh, that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it. So let's turn that on really quick. Go into the fonts, uh, setting light effects. All right, we're already on hum light effects. This will change the blade style here. So that's just steady. Unstable, rainbow blade, rainbow blade. Uh, candy, candy blade, blade. Uh, crack blade. blade. Alright, there we go, just a pulse. So you can see it just the colors just breathing a little bit on and off. And I think that is going to be my Count Dooku style right there. There's not a tremendous amount of additional things in the Xenopixel itself as a lightsaber, but with the addition of the app, you do have access to things you wouldn't have had before. Blade brightness, blade length, um, different uh, effects for the, for the lighting and everything. And you can access all this kind of stuff right here in the app, sensitivity, brightness, blade setting. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. And it does look like some extra stuff is going to come on the way. Features coming soon. So this is all brand new technology. Uh, this is like version one. You know, version one is always the build on thing. You know, here's your base stuff, and then we're just gonna build on it over the years. So it's very exciting to see where this could possibly go. So make sure you drop down, hit that like button, leave some comments on what you think about the Dooku and the Xeno 3 so far, and make sure to hit that notification button for all upcoming videos. Thank you all so much. Thank you again to Vader Sabres, and I will see you all on the next video. Be safe and kind out there in the world. See ya.